Hi, I'm Brett Martin with Fairfax County Land Development Services. Today, I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use our new drainage basin delineation tool. So this tool is designed to do just that, delineate drainage basins. Um, we're going to walk through uh, the application, how to use the tool, and I'll give you some tips. So the elevation surface that we used, um, the, the data that inputs into this tool, is from our 2018 LIDAR-derived NGVD29 digital elevation model. And that was hydro conditioned with our Fairfax hydrography data set, FHD, and our stormwater infrastructure, StormNet. Please be advised, these are estimated drainage basins based off this, the best available data that we have in the county. Um, please read the disclaimer below. Um, and also, too, there's some help documents in here. And also, everything I'm going to show you in the about um, will show you how to use the tool, as well as this video. You can scroll down, we have a pretty lengthy disclaimer. Please read through that. If you have any issues um, with the application, um, you can submit a request to contact GIS and that'll find its way to me. Um, the basics of the app, um, the about section is open when you open the application. And like I said, this is gonna give you an overview. And the biggest thing that I want you to understand from this overview is the geoprocessing extent. So geoprocessing extent, for this application is set to be whatever is viewable in your screen, just the current extent. So if I was to drop a point right here in the center of the map there in Akatink Creek watershed, it's not just going to process um, you know, within that watershed, it's going to process everything on the screen. It would take a long time to run and the pool is only going to run about five minutes before it times out. So you just want to be aware and zoom in as close as you can to your, what you estimate that the basin size of the basin is going to be. Um, there's also in here, if you go to the layer list, there's a few layers in here that will help you make that judgment. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom into an area so you can see. Um, we have these stormwater facility drainage areas, so you can turn this on. Um, all of our stormwater facilities um, should have a drainage area associated with them. That will, um, zoom in a little bit more, that will help you determine um, you know, the size of a potential drainage area if you're trying to do it where there is already a delineation for the facility. Our watershed management areas, our, our watersheds, our large watersheds, of course. Um, the contour lines, very helpful. We have our stormwater infrastructure in here. And then also the flow accumulation grid is very important. So that's what you see with the blue, the blue lines. So let me zoom in to this guy right here. Um, you can click anywhere. Say that I want to know the drainage area to this point right here. If you click anywhere on the blue line, it's going to tell you there's a 7.8 acre drainage area to that point. So that gives me a one estimate of how big this is going to be. It's pretty easy when you're dealing with a smaller one. Some of the larger ones is when you may want to use the watersheds layer or the watershed management areas. But I can see that this is the flow direction. It's all draining down into this point. The contour lines would help with that too. But you want to, this is perfect. If I ran my tool here, it's just gonna process this area and it should get my whole drainage area. You'll know that you're zoomed in too close is it'll cut off, it'll be a straight line in your drainage area. That is an indication that it was too zoomed in. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is the tool, it's the raindrop. Click on the tool, you have two options here. You have your pour point and then you can have a clear button to clear if you drop it and want to do another one. So I'm going to drop this guy right on the blue line. Make sure to drop your pour point right on the blue line for when you want to delineate to that area. And I will zoom out. I want to zoom out a little more because it would have cut it off if I would have done it right there. That should do it and we'll hit run. So that's only going to take a, a minute or so and I'll show you some of the other tools. We have uh, an add data button. You can go in here and you can add any other um, ArcGIS Online layers, you can see the county has a, a great deal of them. There's a measuring tool, you have a print tool. Um, and then the basics, here's base maps. But there you go, there's the, there's the delineation. So we can open the pool back up. Um, I'll click on it, it'll tell you a 7.81, which is exactly what we got when we clicked on the blue line. It'll always match, the boundary will always match whatever was um, the value was when you click on the, the flow accumulation grid. So you have a couple options with this, and I go into detail um, in, the, in the help document and also over here in the about.
But if you hit the ellipse, you can export this to a feature collection and that will allow you, and this is described in the help document, um, this will allow you to bring it into desktop GIS and you can convert that JSON into a shapefile or a file geo database feature class. Or you can also export it to feature collection and use CAD to convert the JSON into the CAD. So you can use it in either, in either platform. Um, you can also, if you have an ArcGIS Online account, save it to your content, um, and then you can run wild with it in ArcGIS Online. If you need to um, remove it from the map, you just click the X and also hit the clear here, and that got rid of my drainage or my, my port point. Uh, that's all I have today. Um, if you uh, have any questions, just feel free to let me know, and I hope you have a wonderful day.